All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. Um, we're very fortunate to have Amber and Arletta from iSolve today. They're going to take us through the Learn and Grow platform, and uh, I will turn it over to them, and we'll get started. Sorry, I was trying to get off mute. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Yes, thank you, everybody, so much for joining today. We are happy that you are here to learn all about um, the Learn and Grow system that we have here in iSolved. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Maybe, there we go. All right, so our agenda today is that we're going to go through and let you meet your presenters. Um, and then we're going to go through just a little bit of an overview as far as what is Learn and Grow um, a couple of pieces that we really like to, you know, point out and, you know, kind of let stand out of our solution overall. Um, and then we're going to go through a really nice demo of uh, the Learn and Grow system. Uh, and then at the very end, we're going to have time for some Q&A. So during the demo, um, if you guys have questions, you'll see that there's a chat option and a Q&A option. Mm -hmm. As you have questions, please put those questions in um, in either one of those options. And then that way, at the very end of the demo, we can make sure that we wrap back around and get everybody's questions answered. All right, so your presenters today, you have myself, Amber Vernu. Um, I'm an iSolved account manager. And then we also have Arletta Mills with us today, who is one of our iSolved solutions consultants. All right, so just a little bit of an overview um, as far as learn and grow, learning management systems overall in general. Um, and just what employees are looking for in this day and age. <clears throat> so one thing we've come across and we've noticed is that, you know, the new norm of employment um, as that employees are definitely looking for more value from their employees. They're looking for more opportunities, um, always kind of looking to, you know, how can they grow? So a couple of key pieces here as far as, you know, just some, you know, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Um facts that we like to share with you is 36, gosh, 36% 36 of employees are lacking a learning system management. Um, so, you know, fast paced learning, career developments, 36% of employees are lacking, feel like they're lacking that, you know, from their employees, from their, um, you know, being able to learn in a fast paced environment. This one is actually a pretty big key piece for me, 53% um, of employees say that learning opportunities keep them engaged at work. So if you think about that, more than half of your um, employment is uh, always wanting to figure out how to keep engaged at work and learning opportunities are, is what's keeping them engaged at work. So if you're looking to how do I keep my employees engaged? How do I keep them interested? How do I keep my employee staff, you know, the ones that I want to keep here and that way I'm not having a high turnover, um, having a learning management system and learning oppor opportunities within your company is a big key piece um, for employee satisfaction, employee you know, happiness, uh, just overall in general, keeping your employees wanting to continue to work for you. Um, so these actually, I won't go through all of these, but a couple of the big ones that I find actually really interesting here um, is 51% of all employees um, are looking for more education through a learning management system. So they're looking for how do I get more educated? How do I learn more? How do I grow within my company? Um, and then 46% of your employees um, are looking for career path opportunities. And some of those career path opportunities um, come with learning with it, learning and growing with inside your company, right? They, it's beneficial for employees to continue to learn and grow. And then that opens up such different career paths and opportunities for them to be able to grow with inside the company. So again, it's one of those things where I like to just kind of let it sink in a little bit where half of this is half of your you know, staff, this is half of the employees that are working at your company. These are the types of things that they're looking for. Um, you know, and then of course, a lot of people look for like, um, not a lot, I shouldn't say a lot, 27% of your, you know, employees look for, you know, group trainings, 19%, you know, like virtual trainings. Um, so just a couple of statistics and facts that I really like to share as far as 
you know, what employees are looking for in their overall development and growth within the company. All right, and then just another little thing. I I like I like this slide. Um, so organizations that actually invest in their employees' experience within the company, um, how they are learning, how they're growing, and just overall in general their experience, you know, at your company, how they're you know working for you, um, what the morale is and stuff like that. Um, you'll have four times the profit and two times the revenue. So that's actually a big, big, big thing to think about um, because employees that experience a higher engagement level, they're happier, um, they enjoy coming to work, they feel like the employees are investing in them and not just in their learning and their growing with inside the company, but just their overall you know, experience working for you, um, the morale. Um, they definitely, those employees that do feel that, um, will always outperform any of their other peers by 147%. So that's a really big key piece, something to always kind of think about and keep in the back of your mind. All right, so we want to just go through um, a little bit of capabilities and benefits as far as the learning management system. So um, you can personalize your curriculum within the learning and uh, learn and grow management system. Our little will kind of go through a little bit of that with you, but you can, you know, um, upload and uh, your own recordings and then even documentation. So she'll kind of go through that, but it is really nice that you, you know, if you have recordings out there that you've, you know, done that maybe you want to upload for your employees to be able to do those trainings that way, or even just maybe um, some documentations that you would like for them to kind of go through and read through um, that, you know, you can actually utilize that as far as some of the personalized and customizable content that you can put within our learning management system. Um, we do have a pre-built library of over 150 courses um, that comes along with this as well. Um, we do have a content marketplace. So there are options um, outside of the, you know, over 150 courses that you get um, with the learning management system. You can purchase other additional trainings if you need other trainings that maybe uh, you need outside of, you know, what, what comes along with the learning management system. Um, and then we do have some reporting in there. So again, if, you know, you want to see and need to see like who's done what trainings, um, maybe who's earned what type of certificates, if that's what you're looking for, um, there's definitely some reporting out there. Um, and then this is just a full, you know, learning management system <clears throat> overall. And then a couple of a couple of benefits. Um, again, you'll uh, gain some uh, productivity. So you'll gain some productivity. Um, encourage employees to grow personally and professionally. Um, you'll really improve retention. Again, you know, keeping employees engaged and happy, and wanting them to continuously learn and open up new opportunities does improve that employee retention within your company. Um, and then just, you know, ensuring compliance. So, you know, kind of trying to transform the way your employees learn, but then also making sure that, you know, you're staying compliant um, with any type of, you know, regulatory requirements that are, you know, out there set forth by either your state or whatever type of maybe vertical you work in. Um, so keeping just compliance there. All right, so I'm going to turn the time over now to Arletta Mills. She's going to go through a really nice demonstration of everything that the learning management system can do. And then again, please, if you do have any questions during the demo, make sure you put those in the chat or the Q&A section. And we were we will be more than happy to wrap around to those um, questions that you we have that you have at the very end of the demonstration. All right. Perfect. Well, let me uh, go ahead and start sharing my screen today. And I think what you're going to find is I'm actually going to walk through learn management a little bit different than any of you may have ever thought about. So where I'm starting today is actually on my administrative side. And I want to draw your attention to two things right here, the department and then this location. Um, when we think about learn management, it's great thinking about all these courses, but then there's that extra thought probably on your shoulders is, how do I assign these courses out to my employees? And with this, this solution, 
I can automatically assign courses out and look at that, it just went off by their department or by their work location. So here's what I want you to th start thinking about. You know, for harassment training, different states have different harassment training. You can automatically assign courses based on where they're located, or you can assign courses automatically by departments. So what this means is, I always go back to the, my younger days when I worked in a factory. When I was working in production, I needed to have different courses than when they moved me over to shipping and handling, right? Shipping and handling, they wanted me to take some more safety training so I didn't uh, shrink wrap myself to a pallet. So think about different ways you could actually roll out training to your employees. Maybe it's by a work location or a department. Of course, we always have the ability to send out training manually one by one. And then within our system, you can also create teams. And so as we move people from team to team or department to department, they're automatically going to get assigned that training. And so that's just a huge advantage to you as the employer, making it easy to assign out those courses. Now we're going to come over here. And we're going to look at our employee service. And of course, I'm right down here on People Cloud. Now, remember with our self service, this is where your employees can come in, see their paycheck stubs, their W 2s. Maybe this is where they're clocking in or out, doing their benefits. A lot of functionality in one single spot. So when you add in our Learn and Grow, we're actually going to add in a tab right here called Learn and Grow. And when we click on that, what it's going to do is it's going to open up into our Learn and Grow solution. Now I'm here on my dashboard and one of the things about ISOB that you might not know about us is we take cybersecurity really serious. Um, every year we are lucky enough to get to do a very intense training for an hour about cybersecurity. And then throughout the year, our IT department likes to send out what they call phishing emails. And so if we click on something that we should not within our email, we get an email from the IT department saying you have failed the test and here's a two hour training for cybersecurity. Um, so just out of our, our commitment to staying, keeping your employees information secure, we kind of double up on our cybersecurity. So since that's happened, what happens now for me personally, if I get something in my email that I need to take a training and click on a link, I absolutely will not click on it. But what I will do is go to my employee self-service and come in here to my dashboard and see if the courses have been assigned. Now, if there are no courses here, I know that it's a fake email. I delete it and go about my day. If there is a course here, then I know that was a legitimate email. And typically, just out of habit, I'll just go ahead and take the course while I'm here. So when you create those great habits, always just go to your dashboard, you're probably going to help increase your participation a little bit because people are already on the dashboard, they might as well take what you need them to take. Now, what we're also looking here, we can see uh, some courses here. I have courses marked as favorite. Maybe you put out a course and it's mission critical to my job. I can actually mark it as my favorite, so I don't have to go back and look for it anymore. And then I have a favorite article here. You're going to see in a moment how you can attach articles to courses. And, you know, I don't always have time to read the article, but I can mark it as my favorite. So it's on my dashboard. I don't have to go find that course that had the great article. It's marked as my favorite, and it's here, right here. Now, as far as assignments go, we can have paths. So you can group a bunch of courses together, create a path or you can just simply have a course. And we're gonna click on this course right here. And as this opens up, what this is called is a video training. So we did a demonstration like we're doing today in this webinar and we recorded it. Then we were able to upload it into the system. Now, once we uploaded it, we were able to add in chapters. In between each chapter, we could add a quiz to make sure people are retaining the information. And then at the end, we can add a test. As the employer, you get to define what is a passing and a failing grade. You get to decide, am I gonna shuffle those questions and answers? So if my employees fail it, they can't memorize the test. You're even gonna be able to control how many times they can take a test in an hour, a day, a week, a month, or a year. And if they, they fail it that many times, you can lock it till they come and talk to you. As we keep moving down the screen, we're gonna see some self-study. Maybe you teach your employees a, a, a policy or a practice. And you want them to go and self-study. You want them to go in and practice. This is where those related articles that you saw on my favorite screen are. You know, if I see something, I don't have time to read it, mark it as my favorite and go on. We also have some suggested courses. If this course really helped you, here's some other things that we've produced that are out here. And you can even allow comments. Now, everything you see on my screen is to your discretion. You don't have to have all of these open. I just do. 
Well, when we're talking about a video training, I've had employers who are like, well, I really need my employees to learn this process. So they actually had somebody following them with a video camera. They were showing the process. Then they were able to take that video and upload it into the system. Same thing, add in chapters, have them go out and practice. It just really opens up to really customizing these courses to your company. Now, that's what I call a video training. We also have PowerPoints. Maybe you have a PowerPoint that you need your employees to walk through. You can have them walk through that and even take a test at the end. Maybe you've purchased content from another provider. It generally comes in what we call a SCORM content. That's able to be uploaded into the system and assigned out. You can create sessions. Maybe you want to do some live training, but you really want to do some crowd control. You don't want a whole bunch of people with a whole bunch of questions because you need to control the crowd a little bit. You can actually create sessions within the solution and have limit how many people can sign up per session. We also have the audio only. There's nothing to see. We just want you to listen to it. I relate that to podcasts, but you know, I'm a little bit of the older generation, so I haven't got the hang of podcasts yet. And then we have website training. So think about what I talked about with cybersecurity. Um, you know, you may purchase a piece of equipment from a, a, a manufacturer or a provider, and they have specific training. And a lot of times that specific training is out on YouTube. Now, if you send me an email that says, hey, click on this YouTube video and watch it to learn how to use this piece of machinery, there's no way I'm going to click on it. But I will come into my learn and grow. I'll click on my dashboard and I can have a course assigned about the new equipment. When I come into the course, there can literally be that website and I'll click on it and I'll watch it because I know if it's here, it's safe and I'm not going to get in trouble for clicking on something I shouldn't. So just different types of courses that you can bring into the solution. Now we mentioned earlier too, that the solution can come with over 150 different courses. So here are all the courses we created. And then anything with this little pro content is content that comes with the solution. And again, there's over 150 different courses. We have all types, all of our, our courses can be put into categories, but if you're looking for that cybersecurity training, we have that in the system. Most of my employers are looking for the harassment training. Now, we do have courses that are compliant with the state of California. Most of the time, if you can meet California standards, they apply for every state. California simply says supervisors need to take different training than your employees. But some of my states are like, I need you to go one step further. Not only do they have to take separate training, but they have to read through this form. Well, that's when you create a path. For your employees, you grab this employee training. As, and attach it to a path. And the next course would be that form that the state requires you to uh, have them read. And then you do the same thing for supervisor and you sign those out. Maybe you have two teams. Teams are supervisors, managers, all supervisors and managers get this path, all regular employees get this other. And again, it's helping you keep in compliance. Now, if you can't find a course that you like within our solution, there's a marketplace where you can go out shopping and there's over 70,000 different courses available on our marketplace. We've got very industry specific courses and a lot of our courses come in different languages and we'll help you find the courses that are relevant to your company. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is the, the training, right? We wanna talk about the courses or the paths. You can create certificates for each type and they can expire. So, if I have my employees do their harassment training, I can attach a certificate to that course or path, and I can have that certificate or um, that course or path expire in two years, because that's generally how harassment training is every two years. So now, at the end of the two years, the system's going to send out new emails. It's time to retake your training. You get your certificate up to date, and the employee can go in and retake that training. The advantage for you as the employer is as my employees are completing their training, it actually notes that certificate right in their cert certifications tab in ISOP. So as an employer, you have a dashboard and if you see everybody coming up and some of their training is expiring, maybe you did some safety training and a month after you did the safety training, three people got hurt. So now you see everybody's safety training is coming up due. Do you wanna let them take the same training or do you wanna change it up a little bit because they found new ways to hurt themselves? 
This is the power behind ISOP, automatically assigning the correct courses or paths to your employees based on their department, but still giving you that power to do it manually. And then tracking any types of certificates that you're creating with these courses so we can make sure we're up to date on our trainings. Are there any questions in the question box? There is not. Yeah, I'd say you're not seeing it this time either. All right. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed that and can see the power of ISOP really going in with the learn and grow and, and tying it into those different departments and locations. Amber, I'm going to turn it back to you. Great. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I don't actually see any questions at this time. Um, Jason, do you want to go ahead and just wrap this up? Nope, that's it. Thank you so much for doing that. And um, everybody that is registered will get out the link so you can share it. And if you have any questions, you can contact me and we'll get them answered for you. Thanks, everyone. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.